fun porch jam, fun jam to play on the couch. It's just something I come up with when I grab an acoustic and this is the Taylor Academy 12E that I've had for about a year and a half and I love this guitar. Uh, if you're looking for an affordable entry level play at home, sit around on the couch kind of guitar, this is a great one. It's got the armrest, it's got great electronics built in, it's got the tuner built in, Gibson scale, uh, easy to play, very much like an electric guitar to play. So this is a little jam, a little 145 jam in A. It shows some of the licks that I've shown you over the years as well as a couple of new ideas. So Starting with barring your A shape of the A chord there at the second fret, you're going to make the Keith Richards move to the 4 chord, which would be a D in the key of A. You're going to put down your middle finger on the 3rd fret 2nd string and your ring finger on the 4th fret 4th string. Again, that is the... That is the Keith Richards move. Okay, so then you're going to hit that and then come up to the fifth fret, lay your ring finger over the third string to mute it. So you're just playing two and four there at the fifth fret. you this is a great lick to play over that movable A shape no matter where you are on the on the fretboard. If you're in the key of D you've got and so forth. Key of C. So down here whatever strumming pattern you like that's just one I kind of gravitate to for whatever reason. And then you just give that 3rd fret 5th string C note a little wiggle. Coming from the minor 3rd to the major 3rd, right? In the key of A. Then over the D chord, I really like the D sus and the D sus2 is leaving that first string open, playing the open E note. It's just a really pretty chord. And so if you've already got that E note ringing out, you can play as kind of a passing chord that same shape moved up two frets, right, which would be your D shape of an E chord, but we're leaving that first string open again, letting that E note ring out. So you've got sort of an E7 sort of thing going on if you hit the, the D note, which is the 7 in the key of E, right? So coming up to the 7th fret, playing the 2nd and 3rd strings, right? That's part of your a shape of a D chord that I was just talking about. So we're playing two notes out of that A shape of a D chord, keeping that fourth string ringing open, the D, and the first string ringing open, the E. So you've got another D sus2. Hopefully you can hear that those are different voicings of the same chord. 
and then similarly you come up here to 10 and 11 right that's part of your F shape of a D chord at the 10th fret but again we're just fretting two notes and leaving the fourth string and the first string open these ringing open string chords are really pretty they're frequently used by Mike Campbell right of Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers to get those sort of birds like jangly ringing chords so again we're playing another version of a D sus 2 because we have three notes of a D major triad with the E note the sus 2 ringing out so that whole thing again is That's really pretty and you can do so many different things with those chords up and down the neck and then just back to your or you could do something else over the A if you wanted to right at that point then we're coming to the five chord so I just did a similar bend and release on the 6th string, 3rd fret, which again would be going from the minor 3rd to the major 3rd in the key of E, just like we did with open, and you could do anything at this point that's E related. do whatever you wanted. I just happened to just slid up to the octave there at the 12th fret with that E or F shape of an E chord. And then 4 chord again was a D and I just did. You should know these by now, the harmonized sixths. Again, we're starting up here with two notes out of a D chord, the F shape of a D chord, first and third string. Come down two frets, so it's sort of like two notes out of a C chord. Come down two frets, and now both fingers are on the same fret seven, like your D shape, your uh, A shape of a D chord. You could also play it here run out of fretboard, right? Have to come up here. Anyway, over the E, I think I hit the open first string and then I over the D. And then just back. So play around with that. You can do like I said, different things over each chord. You're over an A, come up to the fifth position, or could do a little uh, Chuck Berry ish thing. Try doing the harmonized thirds, the harmonized sixths. Uh, at different junctures of the progression. But I think the coolest thing today is that that's the newest thing. The other things I've all shown you before, but I think that's really pretty, so check it out. The D sus 2 licks. Alright, thanks for joining me. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time.